Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I'm going to speak about what happens to the center of gravity when we shift a weight on board, say in four and a half direction, a thwart shift direction, and the vertical direction. We are also going to talk about uh, uh, the effect on center of gravity when a small quantity, small amount of weight is loaded uh, on board ships. The shift can be considered in four and a half direction, vertical direction, and a thwart shift direction. When uh, the weight is shifted in upward direction, you know, the center of gravity also moves up. When the weight is shifted in downward direction, center of gravity moves downwards. When the weight is shifted in a thwart ship direction, say from port to starboard, the center of gravity also will move uh, in the starboard direction. And when the weight is shifted in four and a half direction, for example, a particular weight is shifted from uh, hold number three to hold number two. That means the shift is in four and a half direction. The center of gravity of the ship also will move in the four and a half direction. What I tell the students is the movement of the center of gravity is parallel and proportional to the shifting of the weight. Now, when we shift the weight in four and a half direction, the trim is caused or trim is changed. We'll be talking about the trim sometimes at the later stage. At this stage, what I want to talk with you is the shift of weight in a thwart shift direction and shift of weight in vertical direction. So, suppose we are looking at a ship from her front, then this is the starboard of the ship, this is the port of the ship. And let us say this is this point represents the keel, this is the water level and this is the center of buoyancy and here is the center of gravity. Now for the equilibrium, the center of gravity and center of buoyancy have to be in a vertical line. Let us say the vessel is in upright equilibrium. Equilibrium, I will repeat, is the state of rest. Equilibrium means all the forces and moments acting on the ship, they are balanced. Equilibrium also means that center of gravity and center of buoyancy are in vertical line. When we talk about the ship, equilibrium also means that on the GZ curve, the right hand lever GZ is equal to zero. Now, let us talk about shifting of a weight. There was a weight over here. Suppose the weight is shifted this way. Then parallel and proportional to the shift of weight, the center of gravity will also shift to a position G1. Now what happens because of this shift? Uh, what happens because of this shift? Definitely anyone would say that the ship would get listed. We will talk about the list at some later stage. But at the moment, uh, let me tell you, uh, if the weight is shifted transversely, and there's no vertical component, transversely if it is shifted, and let us take a practical example that the displacement of the ship is uh, 15,000 tons and the weight that is shifted is 50 tons and the distance we are talking about is say 10 meters then this distance GZ1 would be W into D upon displacement and that is equal to 50 into 10 upon 1500, 15,000, right? So we can find out it is 5 upon 150. That is the uh, distance G01. So uh, the shift would be 5 divided by 150. That is 0.033. 0.0333 meters. So this is how we find out what is the shift that is caused. Now let us assume that the shift instead of uh, in transverse direction, the shift is in vertical direction and this weight is shifted downwards by an amount say 12 meters, right? So the center of gravity of the ship will also shift in downward direction and how much is GG1 is given by a very simple formula W into D divided by displacement that is 50 into 12 divided by 15,000. 
so uh, that is uh, 600 divided by 15 gives me 0 0.04 0 0.04 meters right so uh, this is what uh, uh, happens when we shift the weight now similarly if the weight is shifted in four and a half direction it will uh, increase or decrease the distance of center of gravity of the ship from half perpendicular that means LCG of the ship will increase or decrease okay now let us see what happens because of the loading or unloading of a weight Here is the center of gravity of the ship. We load a weight equal to say 40 tons over here. Now this uh, 40 tons that is loaded, if we know the distance of this point of loading from center of gravity, suppose this land distance is 12 meters, right? And displacement of the ship is Originally it was say 18,000 tons and final displacement becomes 18,040 tons, right? So uh, uh, how much will the center of gravity shift? Now center of gravity will shift in the direction of point of loading. So G will come to this point G1. So if we want to know the straight line distance, if we know this distance 12 meters, then we say that the shift GG1 is equal to 40 into 12 divided by 18,000 plus 40. So let us see how much it is. Numerator is 480 divided by 18040 gives me 0.0267. 0.0267 meters but generally practically we never find out a uh, distance in uh, oblique direction we divide this component into vertical and transverse components we divide this uh, shift into vertical and transverse components now the weight is shifted uh, at a point which is above the center of gravity of the ship this means that G is going to shift upwards. So what is this upward shift? Upward shift is going to be uh, it's going to be decided by this distance. So suppose this distance is 6 meters that is from center of gravity to the deck the vertical uh, separation is 6 meters then this particular component that is the vertical shift component G G V we can call is equal to 40 into 6 divided by uh, 18040. So we have loaded uh, this 40 ton weight on deck which is 6 meters above the center of gravity of the ship. So vertically the center of gravity will shift so much. This vertical shift is responsible for reducing the GM of the vessel because for small amount of loading we assume that the meta center more or less remains at the same position. So if we assume that the meta center remains in the same position then with the vertical shift of G the GM will reduce and when the GM reduces the stability reduces and we can also find out what is the transverse component so suppose from the center line from the center line this distance is 8 meters then the transverse shift that is ggh will be given by 40 into 8 divided by 18040 now this transverse shift is responsible for causing the list Suppose we are loading a weight of 40 tons, you know, 8 meters transversely away from the center line and 6 meters vertically above the original center of gravity. We can find out what is the change of the kg and therefore what is the reduction of gm, you know, 
assuming that the meta center is over here and we also find out what is the transfer shift and the transfer shift amount that is the ggh is responsible for providing the list to the ship at the moment we are not finding out the list at the moment we are not finding out the new uh, gm at the moment we are just trying to understand what happens when we load a cargo at a point similarly when we discharge the weight from here you know when we discharge the weight from here a 40 ton weight which was here if we discharge the new displacement will be 18,000 minus 40 and also when we discharge the weight from here the G instead of shifting in the direction of weight it will shift in a direction opposite to the point of discharge you know and similarly we can find out what is the reduction in kg right and what is the list that is going to be caused you know the transverse movement of center of gravity we can call ggh and the vertical movement we can call as ggv now there is a very important point which uh, a ship's officer must understand and that is the principle of uh, suspended weights so this is the water line over here you have center of buoyancy this is keel and probably uh, this is the center of gravity and suppose you have a crane on board and you're wanting to lift a weight and you're wanting to lift a weight which existed on the ship now assuming that say this is 50 tons and displacement of the ship is 15,000 tons Let's say this distance is uh, 32 meters from the suspension point to the original position of the weight. Now, the moment we pick up the weight even by uh, 1 centimeter from deck, what happens is the weight as if jumps and shifts to this position. As if we have caused a vertical shift of the weight on board ship, internal shift of the weight. So what happens is G shifts vertically upwards parallel and proportion like the weight has shifted along this line G also will shift parallel to this line and uh, the amount of shift will be proportional to this shift. So how do we find out GG1? GG1 would be 32 into 50 divided by 15,000. Now one thing which an officer must understand that when a vessel is loaded in the holds and most of the cargo is loaded also on deck this is one of the last links we are uh, lifting uh, from the jetty and we are going to load on deck the GM is already on the low side right because we have loaded the deck cargo the moment this last one of the last links is lifted say it might be 25 30 tons right as if we have directly loaded this weight at the crane head or derrick head you know it would be understood it would be assumed that the weight is suddenly loaded at this point and not only it will uh, shift the center of gravity in vertically upward direction what is also happening is we are suddenly loading something at a distance so many meters from the center line so center of gravity will also shift transversely now shift of center of gravity transverse in a transverse direction will give list and the shifting of the g upwards will aggravate the list so this is what a duty officer must understand a chief officer must understand we will do numericals on this uh, in my next video at the moment let us understand that uh, center of gravity of the ship moves in fore and aft athwart ship and vertical direction because of loading discharging shifting etc